Hello, welcome to another video on this channel about 3D printing. It's good to have you back if you are returning. We'll seize the opportunity today to take a look at repairing a Staples brand electric pencil sharpener. When mine stopped working, when you stick in the pencil, the motor spins, but the cutting blades don't. The problem is with one of the gears is broken. This is model number. Three four four six two. We'll take it apart, print out one of the gears, stick the printed gear in, and it should work. Tony Googled the model number and found a great video posted by a YouTuber, the Over Engineer that describes exactly what breaks on this particular electric pencil sharpener and how to get to it, how to get inside and um, access that broken part, a gear. And I will leave a video uh, link uh, to that, you to, um, over engineers video uh, YouTube channel. After accessing and removing the broken gear, the first step I usually take in designing a replacement is to photograph it. Then I use a digital cal caliper and record the dimensions to a rough sketch. Next, I'll show the steps I used in Fusion 360 to model the new printable part. By scrolling back on the timeline here. Original circle, the base that fits in first on the spindle diameter of 5.8 millimeters using the center diameter circle tool. The second step is to extrude that circle. You press and pull on that 5.8 millimeter circle. Next, an offset plane is needed rolling the history marker forward and seeing that construction here was added as part of this step. And the offset plane that was needed here um, is where the teeth will the sketch will be placed. So I've given it a name that can Help me find it easily. Next, the gear teeth are added with the help of the canvas that was imported and the first of the teeth and the areas to be cut out are sketched onto the offset plane. Circular pattern tool is used to create the ten teeth. 
from just a single combination of a couple of arcs connected to this circle. The protruding areas of the teeth are added by with the push-pull tool on the selected sketch of the teeth. The sketched areas are created now for the indented part of the teeth, as shown here. These are necessary for cutting into the cylinder as the previous step was used to extrude the protrusion. Now we'll need to cut into the cylinder. Next, cutting into the cylinder with the push-pull tool creates the concave areas. Now a final sketch is done to place the hole for the motor spindle. Having used a caliper to measure the diameter of the spindle post, I'm able to specify 2.45 millimeters for the dimension of that center hole. And the last step is to use the push-pull tool to cut the hole in the center using the previous sketch. And that is the finished design. Okay, now that the gear is printed and installed, we'll just connect the electric power. It's now plugged in. There's not much shavings in the tray from before it was fixed. We'll take a relatively dull pencil in fact, the lead isn't even showing on here. And we'll gingerly put it in. And yay! It's working! Okay, needs a little bit more. That should do it. Well, we've got three Staples brand pencil sharpener now working again.